Hi you guys, my name is Curtis Schiller and this is Mooj and we are Rawhide Ranch staff members. I have been a full time staff member here at the ranch for a little over a year and a half now and I thought I would go ahead and give you guys some insider scoop on the way things work here at the ranch. I teach many different classes here on the ranch and one of those classes I teach is writing. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little insider scoop on the way things work in the OK Corral. Throughout this video I'm going to be showing you guys clips and videos of things in the riding arena and throughout the ranch as well as interviews from our Rawhide Ranch staff members. So, make sure you pay attention, have fun. So, let's go ahead and take a look. The town of Longhorn is where all the ranch hand riding horses live during camp. Now, this is where they live, eat, and sleep, and you get them ready for their day. You will get them tacked up and groomed here at the town of Longhorn for riding class. Now, some horses have their own grooming tools, so it's very important to look at what you are grabbing before you get ready. So you'll get the horses ready here before they are going to be in riding class. Let's bridle Peppy. He has a hackamore. Okay, it's very important that you tack and get all your horses ready in an efficient amount of time. There is sometimes 25 horses that need to get ready and only 5 staff members. Now, children will never be in the horses' stalls getting them ready, so it relies all on the Rawhide Ranch staff members and buckaroos. So work hard, work fast, and get your job done and get your horses pulled and put up on the hitching rail with their rider. When I come out of this gate, I'm gonna make sure that I shut it behind me. Always shut the gate when you're done. After your horses are all ready, it's time to check to make sure all of the kids have their helmets on and to put them on the hitching and go over the rules of the road. Number one, stay in the middle of the road. Number two, no passing. Number three, keep good spacing. And then you will have the horses and ranch hands head to the riding arena. With staff members in tow spread out in the line of horses. My name's Natalie and I've been working in the OK Corral for about six months and my little bit of advice is make sure you really get to know the horses because all of them have different personalities. Hi, my name is Raina and I am the assistant camp director at Rawhide Ranch. I have been in and out of the OK Corral for the last 11 years uh, teaching and being a part of the program. A piece of advice for our riding staff would be to find your lead, get to know your lead, and be comfortable relying on your lead in the arena. Ask questions, be there, be a support, find your lead. But I'm stuck here in this prison, cell phones and city streets. I need a little time, I need a little space. Gretchen Conwell and I am the Animal Equine Director at, here at Rawhide Ranch. Um, I have um, been in and out of the arena for about 15 years. Um, I worked my way up from program staff to um, assistant writing director and then writing director. Um, so I've had plenty of time. I will also be heading up your um, horse staff training as well. So definitely um, get to know the horses, get to know your fellow staff. Um, and my biggest um, word of advice to have plenty of patience and don't forget to breathe. Hi you guys. For those of you who do not remember my name, I am Curtis and I have been working the OK Corral for about a year and a half now. And my advice to you is to keep an open mind, stay on your toes, and do not let the little things get to you. Wait too long, take me back to my home, sweet Take me back, I've been away too long Take me back, I've been away too long Take me back
to my home sweet home. Hi, my name is Teresa and I've been working in the writing arena in the OK Corral on and off for about four and a half years. Be flexible and just have fun with it and be ready for anything. This is Bandit and this is Buddy and we've been in the OK Corral for the last three years. Um, some advice for you guys is to maybe um, purchase a bandana. It's great for wiping off your sweat when it's trickling down <laughs> your face like or um, for getting a nice and cold and wet time around your um, neck to keep it nice and cool. Jenna, I have been working in the OK Corral on and off for eight years and advice I would have is go with the flow and have fun. Life is taking turns, falling flat on your chin, trying to fly with the birds and love sure is blind. It don't see, it ain't spent one night. Go. My name's Katie, I've been working in the OK Corral for a little over a year now, and my advice would be to find your voice and don't be afraid to be loud and get involved. I feel like a king sitting here with you, dear. Hi, my name is Natalie, I've been teaching the OK Corral for four years, and my one word of advice is to wear lots of sunscreen because you will get pretty awesome tan lines. <laughs> Sweating the little things And who knows what tomorrow Is gonna bring But today The sun Hi, I'm Alex. I'm the Assistant Riding Team Coordinator here at Rawhide Ranch. I've been working in the OK Corral for almost two years. Um, my best advice is to stay hydrated, stay focused, and um, have fun. Hi, my name is Anya. I've been working at Rawhide for uh, three summers. Keep an open mind and be creative and try to daydream too much in the arena because you're going to miss something important happening right behind your back. You must have flipped on that switch. When you Educational. Hot. Intense. Unpredictable. Entertaining. It's controlled chaos. Busy. Mind boggling. Hilarious. Scary. Sweaty. Dusty. Enlightening. Amazing. And who knows what tomorrow? And hope to see you soon.